everybody good afternoon this is Tante Africa talk show and I am your host Patricia I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank everybody who has visited my YouTube channel everybody who has followed me on Facebook and if this is the first time you're seeing me on uh, this small video I would like to tell you you can follow me on Facebook and uh, on YouTube on Tante Africa talk show so today I'm here doing a small introduction of the the most awaited interview. I know guys are asking, what the hell? Why is it taking so long? But you know what? I thought, you know, the African mentality in us, you know, sometimes seeing is believing. And so I had the chance to go and do a small video shooting on the kindergarten. And this kindergarten, don't forget, as I've been telling you, it is the first from an African girl, you know, and she's not, she's not only doing great things, but she's, she has the energy that nobody is going to stop her because as I was doing the interview for her, uh, she told me things are going to be better. She's thriving to have more and more. And as we were shooting the, 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 the school, the kindergarten, kindergarten not forgetting, it is the baby, it is a daycare in English, people call it daycare. And here in Germany they call it, you know, Kinderkrippe or the kindergarten. So now you know. And she told me, I'm in the middle of renovating the second kindergarten. I was like, oh my God, this girl is not to be stopped. So guys, let me not talk too much. Let me uh, give you the chance to watch this video before we bring the interview. And this is Tante Africa Talk Show. And thank you so much. God bless you all. Let's watch the video together. Thank you. Hello, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are in Munich. We are about to interview our one of our dear sisters who has opened the first kindergarten in Munich. And we are now here around the street, Sensenstrasse uh, in Munich. And uh, she's called Jane, and we are about to interview her. Her kindergarten is called La La Land. And uh, so, guys, I'm just so happy to be the first to interview her in Germany. Sorry for the big noise. We are on the street here, and it is summer. The weather is doing good, so people are outside with their cars. And uh, but I hope you're going to have a nice interview with her. And God bless you all. Let's join her. Thank you. Let's get inside, and uh, she's going to give us a tour on her kindergarten. Thank you. Yeah. So, hope she's there. Maybe she gave us a termin appointment, and she forgot. But uh, she's a nice girl. I'm sure she's waiting for us. And uh, let's see. Oh yes. Hello, Hello, this is Wangi. Hello. Hello. Thank nice you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, this is Jane, Jane Wangi, and uh, we are here to interview her, as I told you. And thank you, my sister, for giving me this chance. You're welcome. To be the first one to interview you. Yeah, and, uh, so you're a great girl, and I feel honored to be the first one yeah. to interview you. Welcome. So, guys, she's going to take us around the uh, yeah. school. So, what are these, my dear? What? Um, we have in the wagons when we are going outside because we have a, a total of 10 kids in this uh, in Alana at the moment. So every kid has his own place where they're going to be sitting when we are going out to play, taking a walk outside and seeing what's going on around us. Ah, yeah. Right. So they don't have to walk like we do it in Africa. So here yeah, they have to be carried away. Yes. Great. And yes. uh, so I have something to say because uh, normally before we are going, we have to put on something for the hygiene. Okay. But today I'll make an exceptional. So let's go. Thank you. Oh, so Mrs. Monkey. Oh, this is a nice decoration here. We have here. It's a. Uh, an example of a project that the kids were doing. Oh. So they play with the material, they learn how to cut, they learn how to paint. Then we put them here for the t for the parents when they come to pick them up so they can sit everything. Oh. Yeah. So that's a one day uh, creative no, no. work or they do it in the week and then... No, no, it can take like a whole week. Okay. It can take like a project for a whole week when they're doing it because mm -hmm. uh, they're small kids, they're between the age of one to three years. Mm -hmm. And sometimes for the small ones, it's not easy to say what they want to do, so it's quite flexible. Oh, and that's yeah. a nice question. Yeah. So, what is the age of your, your kids in the in your school? And we are uh, we have their uh, what do you call it? We are allowed to take kids from the age of zero to three years, but at the moment we have from one to three years here. Good. We don't have yeah. so kind of nice one. Yeah. And what do we have here? 
And here we have every child uh, has his own space. Let me call it like that, where you can put um, their own clothes when they come in, they have their jackets. And uh, very important because of the hygiene purposes, they have to come in with their own shoes, which they use indoors. Uh, what they use outside there for the shoes is not allowed to be inside here because it's uh, so not they come. This is where yes, they start they to change. And they change yes. and they put uh, yes. something light to be in the school to have exactly. them. Yes. yes good. And then we have like uh, the trousers here when you're going outside because of playing and everything that is supposed to be dressed. So they dress again when yes. they're going outside according to the weather. According and to the weather and everything. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. So great work. Um, nice. And uh, what is here? Uh, we have the bathroom here and um, it's for both our guests and the workers. Oh. So every person, every from the workers, they all have <laughs> where they put their jackets, their bags and then they can just lock it. Yeah. So nothing big really happens here. It's just their privacy issues. <laughs> okay. Good. The next room. Then we have the next room. You can tell us if you're not supposed to see something. No, no, it's okay. If you have your private room. Oh, they that do the have. washing as well. Yes, yes, we have washing. No, like once once a day, it has to be cleaned. Because we have. What um, has to be cleaned? The, the clothes, the tablecloths for the, the tablecloths for the, the kids. Then they have the wipers. Uh, oh. They use wipers to after every meal where they clean. They ah. clean up every child has one. Okay. Yeah. And then um, it's just when so the teachers work. have nice life here. They don't have to wash them with hands no, and everything. Everything the machine. And the machine is doing yeah. the working. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful here. We have our first room here. We it's called in German. We call it Aufenthalt room. Um, it's like our main room where everything for the day starts. Where we eat. We have our lunch. We have our breakfast. Yeah. I think I'll start explaining from this box. It's very important because that's where we get our lunch always delivered. Ah. Yeah, we have a uh, catering, um, which is uh, we don't cook ourselves here, so they they give us the whole plan for the whole week. Okay. So when they deliver it, they always knock on this. So who chooses the, 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 the food that the kids are? I choose it. You choose it. Yourself, choose it. Not yeah. the parents. Mm -hmm. choose. I choose it. Okay. Normally, the, the catering it has uh, two types of different food every day, mm -hmm. so I choose one. So when they come, it's always inside here. And most important here in Germany, it's like we when the food is delivered, we have to measure it. The temperature, the temperature. and everything. Yes, and that's why we have this here. This something is just it's a food thermometer where you just hold it and then it, it shows. It shows. So then we have to write it. You have to write. Exactly. Every day. Every day, because if something happens to that child, then we know where the problem was. Good. Okay. Yes. That's good news. Do I even measure at my house? For <laughs> my kids. Yeah, it's nice. so you do. Stay. I can see here there's something that maybe you keep cooking or what. Uh, we what have a nice kitchen, by the way. We have, have a nice kitchen. one that also I have at my place. <laughs> we have a kitchen because once in a while we do baking. Okay. With our kids, mm -hmm. uh, for Christmas, for example. And um, and also we prepare fruits with them because it's important they also get to touch get the feeling mm -hmm. of the food before also eating it so they know what it is exactly. So they get a feeling here, not yes. like yes. in Africa where you, you, oh, you find a mango on the tree and you just get it together. You know how it is in Germany, it's different to get a mango tree outside so <laughs> we have to experience everything here. That's why we have one. Very nice. Yeah, most important what the government was like, you have to put the that, security. The security top? Yes. Because it's for the kids, because when they grow tall, then they can touch it when it's hot. When so it's hot. It so this, it's a must. It has to be there. Good. Be there. Okay. So you have some decorations? We have also made by the kids. And also made for the kids and with the kids together. Mm -hmm. And we always change according to the time of the year. Now we have spring. We have early spring. Spring. Yeah. Spring. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, so that's a, a wall. That tells the kids which yes. uh, season uh, yes. or time and of the year we have yes. during summer. So you keep decorating. We, we keep changing. changing all the time. We keep yeah. changing. And um, we chose this place because when they're seated here, they always look on the on this wall. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So you told me you 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 take the age from uh, zero to three, but now you are having uh, from what age do you have? The um, we have now from the youngest is one year and a half. Okay. And the oldest is the oldest just turned three right now. 
And how many children do you have? We have a total of 10. Total of 10. Yeah. And uh, teachers? A, how many we teachers? have three teachers here. Two of them, they work full time. That means uh, 40 hours per week from 8 to 4 every day. And one of them is uh, part time. She has a total of about 20 hours a week. So. And what time do the children report? Maybe for the uh, parents who are working, do they have to bring the children early, or there's a standard time? It is eight mm. o'clock. They have it's to. It's eight be. o'clock. So it's, a, it's very strict here in German. Uh, it has to be exactly at eight o'clock to let them come in because of the insurances. Because if the kid is here before I'll eight uh -huh. or after four, if something, something happens, happens, they are not covered. They are not covered with insurance. Oh, so if they have to hurt themselves, they have to hurt themselves. During that time, During and outside my building. And, <laughs> so yeah. good. Yeah. So, so what? Yeah. So that was there. The main room where they sit. The when they eat, yeah. sometimes they sit here and they have their books there. And then we can read their books and together as a group, or they can choose a book they want to look at. Yeah. Good, good, good. Then good. we have here the kids' bathroom. Oh, okay. They don't have to do it in a bush way. No, here we have the kids' bathroom and uh, the most important is this area because here is where we change the diapers mm -hmm. and each and every child has his own uh, drawer where we have clothes where they can change when they're dirty and we have their pampers and the wipes for them. And who does that? The teachers? The teachers well. do that. Is it they one teacher allocated or it depends? No, they change it among themselves. They okay. decide among themselves who is going, going to do, do what. It. Because, uh, and uh, normally it's done twice a, as in bet between 8 o'clock and 4 is done twice. Mm -hmm. But if necessary, of course, they do it all the time. So we have here the bathtub. When they're dirty, they can be cleaned immediately. Then we have our towels. Every child has its own box. And these boxes, um, where they put their sleeping clothes okay. because later when we are going to sleep in the afternoon so every child gets his own box then they can change put their clothes here and go to bed how long do they sleep amazing um our day when it starts at eight then we have our breakfast at around nine and at around 12 they go to bed they, after lunch after lunch yeah. they go to bed yeah. they have lunch at 11 30 mm -hmm. till 12 and then it's bedtime it's bedtime yeah so then we have the hygiene area still where they can brush their teeth. When do they brush their teeth? They don't sleep here. But they have to. They have to because after every meal you have to brush your teeth. It's very important. Ah. <laughs> and we have the small toilet where they learn how to go to the toilet themselves. They can practice it here. Actually, if but, this, but this area normally when they come in, there's always a teacher who is going to come to them, so they are not allowed to go in alone. There's always someone with them. Great. If I if I remember my old uh, time in uh, in uh, nursery school, I, this is yeah. Luxus. It's Luxus. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So, so cars. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is kind of a, a street where they can drive the cars mm -hmm. through there. So. Yeah. These boxes inside, they always have toys. So the kids know what, they have in here not for long, now they know which box they're supposed to take, where they're going with. So it takes a bit of some time, but they mm -hmm. have it. <laughs> wow, nice. Yeah. And I, I can see you, you've really, the, 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 you've really gone beyond, because I remember I was here when you were opening it, yeah. actually, and it was not this. So it means you, you're very energetic and you're still striving. Where do you get all this, uh, things from do you buy them personally do the parents bring them to you or where do you get them from we have part of them we buy part of them we get presents from the parents because the kids grow and they no longer need it at home mm -hmm. and part of them i buy uh, like second hand okay because toys we always need yeah and the old ones are the always the best ones, ones yeah. and yeah. Yeah. They, they, they so it's a, it's a mixture of everything from presents to Good. new things yeah I like these decorations <laughs> And that's the name of your, 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 yeah. your kindergarten. Yeah. Lala. Meaning yeah. here they come to sleep only. No, they don't come to sleep. <laughs> I, I, Lala <laughs> is the Swahili name of sleeping. So for those who don't know, but uh, I don't think they come here to sleep. No, they don't only come to sleep. They come to experience how it is. But I, I, for me, the name Lala, it's not only sleep. It's <coughs> the peace just to have this peaceful life. and. Just that, relax. Relax and have things in a peaceful way. <laughs> good, good. There's still an extra room. We have here. an extra room here. Wow. This is beautiful. Uh, 
um, this room. It's um, you, you can come in and take this side. It's our sleeping area for our kids. Wow. Every child has his own mattress. And uh, wow, and a blanket. Mm -hmm. And it has a name. It's very important mm -hmm. because um, of the hygiene issues. Because if you <coughs> anything, it has to be separated. Wow. So normally, and I like the way they are, they are hard there. So mm -hmm. every child, if they feel to sleep, they know I can come. Yeah, no, my, the teachers prepare everything okay. before they come in. Mm -hmm. Then they pull this curtain mm -hmm. and the other one on the other side. Mm -hmm. Then it's dark. So it's dark sleep. so they can uh, yes. take a very nice. Yes. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we put them back mm -hmm. and it's a plain area. Like right now, well, I just put some things down so that you can see it. Mm -hmm. So the kids can play here, they can write their cars here. And um, normally this room in the morning, we use it for our breakfast, how we call it, mom cries. Mm -hmm. It's our breakfast that we sit together in a circle. Mm -hmm. So this carpet here, mm -hmm. everybody gets uh, a So they sit down on the mat. Sit, we all sit down on and we have our greeting. So we wow. can see who is today is there, who is not there, mm -hmm. and why is this person not there. Because mm -hmm. it's just for the kids important to, for the orientation to know. To know somebody's not coming, just yes. like, uh, you know. Yes. Wow. And someone is sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I but I like this idea of how you're improvising every room it can turn to be a sleeping room and the next minute it is a eating room or something else and uh, it it takes a lot of uh, thinking and how to improvise all this space so that you have enough and uh, mm -hmm. that the children have free places to to go around and uh, yeah. without let, let me say especially like right here mm -hmm. we are in this in the city. There are no playing grounds yeah, yeah. around. The first interview, uh, uh, yeah. as I was trying to introduction, was very loud. <laughs> so many cars. You yeah, know the weather so is good. Cars, Everybody's yeah. outside, mm -hmm. and uh, it's so that's why nice. when we are inside here, we try to improvise that we we have everything. Maybe I can have a student try. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you see the African part of me now. I want to start. <laughs> Doing everything. No, this when the kids are up there, it holds, eh? it doesn't. Ah, it doesn't hold. So it's for the kids. But with my kilos, I think. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. So, what else would you like to tell us more? Um, because I think now we are almost to go around. This, with, uh, this about this whole concept, what we have here. Um, it, we have uh, a cooperation with the government mm -hmm. here for this kind the of school. Yeah, children department yes, in Germany. Yes, yes. yes. And we are allowed only to take 10 kids uh -huh. with two teachers. So I took the third teacher, normally is a luxury okay. for us because I thought okay, when one is sick, who can take, who is going to be there mm -hmm. and all that. Um, and uh, most important is this system is because for the parents, you know which teacher has my child. Mm -hmm. So you can have a one on one talk with this teacher. Mm -hmm. It's not is the difference between this kind of sister for school mm -hmm. and a normal kindergarten. Because there you bring the kids and whoever is there takes care of your child. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. But you you for you as a parent you don't have someone you can talk to mm -hmm. and ask, Oh, did my kid eat today? How was it? Mm -hmm. So here it's very intensive. And uh, in, uh, maybe just to ask, uh, this is something that maybe you don't pray that it happened, but mm -hmm. what do you do in terms of emergency when the kid is here and you are, the, the child is under you at that particular mm -hmm. moment, if the kids get sick or something, how do you go about it? Do you have to run with the child yourself to the hospital or what do you, how no. do you go about it? Um, or what are the steps uh, to be taken? Let me say, I thank God in German <laughs> because it's very easy just have to call an ambulance. Ah, okay. Okay. We get an ambulance um, and then we call, we call the parents, of course. And if it's necessary, one of the teachers has to go with this child already to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And during this time, that's when the other two remain here. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah, because here in Germany, we have to write protocol to everything yeah. what happened because of insurance. It is writing, 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 writing everything. So, my dear. Yes. Great, great, great. So, and that's, uh, that's La La Land. That is La La Land. And yeah. What are we looking for? What is the future bringing to us? You, um, you see, <laughs> young Jane, you, <laughs> Let's you see. can maybe open the next secondary here. There are so many spaces uh, here, I'm saying, um, you know, like, or a church. Church. <laughs> 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 no, no, for now, um, I'll be opening. 
second one, second La, La Land, very soon. Oh, that's it's, great news! It's not far. Our second from one here. is also coming. Yes, it's about two streets from here. Already, we are doing the renovations. Mm -hmm. So it's planned for May, June. May or June. May or June. So we year. still have another party to to to, to yeah, prepare of for, of course. So, <laughs> right, and that's 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 great. That yeah. is a, a very nice achievement. Yeah. And, uh, so have you started? Because in Germany, people start booking for their uh, kindergarten even when the child is uh, oh, they are still pregnant oh, oh, how is yeah. the situation now yes. do you have this long list that i know yeah, i have, have i have a waiting list um until 2020 let me say that 2020 so if i'm planning and i'm the only to get I stopped it because you get so many people looking for space when mm -hmm. they, because everybody wants after one year to go back to work mm -hmm. but there's nobody to take your so you so you are, you want to tell me it is a, even the, the the new one that you're supposed yes, I'm you're, fully you're fully booked I'm already fully so booked. I need to think about others because no, you might I, have to I, I will until always, 20. yeah I always tell everybody when you know you're pregnant you just come in the first month the first month, month is have to say so you that's have Germany <laughs> that's Germany yeah. guys it's not like back in Africa where you have to you even don't mind even having three children without thinking where they will go to school but German you have to plan everything where the kid will go to school uh, how many you know it it is a lot of planning here do I have a big car do I all those things are always put in in consideration when you exactly. want to do anything and uh, my sister thank you so much You're and um, as I said before I feel privileged to be here yeah, and, uh, is... I'll be there when you're opening the sure, new one sure. and uh, so you just need to tell me that once and thank I'll you so much and you know what mm -hmm. you're the first one to be interviewed by Tante Africa show well, I'm the lucky one yeah thank you you're welcome thank you so much and bye guys until next time, next time. our next group interviewer love you guys Tante Africa